So we just came in this door here. This abandoned strip club. This door is to remain shut and locked at all times. Well, guess what? It wasn't. And we took full advantage of it. And look at this place. It's loaded. Alcohol galore. After several reports of strange happenings and illegal activity spread like a wildfire throughout the city, officials were left with no other choice but to permanently close the Gentlemen's Club due to all the violations. Some of these reports included illegal drug use, prostitution, serving alcohol after hours, underage drinking, and most notably, hiring underage dancers, with one being rumored to be as young as 15 years old. Intrigued by these rumors surrounding the place, we decided to venture inside ourselves to see all that was left behind. You got a couple bars running down this way and a couple bars this way, so they're like back to back. Coolers full of beer, all different kinds of beer in those coolers. You can see all the liquor up here, glasses, shot glasses, looks like some wine. Here's the bar, look at all the cobwebs. All those cobwebs coming down from the lights that went to there. You can see cobwebs are all over the, the bar, the drinks, everything. Like nobody's been in here for quite some time. You can see dead bugs everywhere. Cockroaches and stink bugs and spiders. Look at the spider webs coming off this bar right here. They literally go down onto the um, liquor bottles and everything. And you could hear the coolers actually still running back there, <laughs> trying to keep the alcohol cold. Italian liqueur here. Di Zerano. Rome, Romana Black. Peach Schnapps. Blueberry. So see how there's a bar on this side and then a bar on this side. So they were back to back. Oddly enough, there's a Bible in here. This guy must have been confessing his sins. His sins of wandering eyes and lusting for voluptuous women. The reviews in this place were pretty funny. Something about a um, bunch of uh, old women with uh, C-section scars. So you had like the benches on each side of the bar. So you had the bench here and then the chairs there. Bar side, bench side. Bar side's better because you could have your drinks up here. Look at the uh, stripper magazines, the pole trick of the month, what? Now that is talent, my friends. Look at that. Pretty damn cool. Some beer bottles. Looks like some Yayo sitting on the, no, that ain't Yayo. Jager. Sex position of the month. Okay, now. Somebody's drinking some Budweiser. And then we go back to the ones I was at earlier with the Bible. But I gotta show you some more of this. Sambuca. And I mean, it's crazy because it, oh, spider was, but look at it, it's all in there. There's still liquor in all of these. Even the wine, full. Like just amazing that it is all still full. And then look at all this liquor here too. All this is filled. Hot damn. More wine, looks like cherry vodka there. Some type of, looks like cognac. Raspberry schnapps again. Again with all these cobwebs up here. Look at the cobwebs around the lights. 
So crazy. And then going down the bar onto the cups and even over here onto the liquor. Look at this one. Oh, it smells. I'm sure it's all skunked. This one. Look at that, even 12 packs. PBR, Heineken, Miller. And over here, there's the Budweiser and the Labatt. Some Michelob. Some hurricane action going on there. Definitely skunked though, you can almost smell it. I mean, I think this place closed like four or five years ago, so you can see that it's definitely getting worse and worse. Everything's going bad, it stinks. You can see some smashed mirrors, mirrors here. Some darts, the dartboard used to be back over here somewhere. Looks like these are just, oh yeah, these are, uh, not sure if these are tabs. Yeah, looks like payouts, food books, shots. So I don't know if for people running tabs or what. Look at all the broken mirror stuff here. Some more alcohol back here. A little blender. Stolies. Got some stolies going on. But look at the cobwebs coming down. I gotta even watch where I put my camera because I keep running into them. That's wild. You can hear the um, coolers running under here for the uh, alcohol. And food, I guess. Oh, look at all that. Gross. Some more stolies down there. Some gray goose. Ah, it stinks. Somebody's got their bat right there, too. Ready to bash somebody. And if we go here, you can see some more alcohol here. And you can see some of the cobwebs coming through this way, too, from the lights up there. I mean, the cobwebs are coming from everywhere. Looks like candles. Plastic swords. Wow. Just wild to see it like this. This one has roaches in it that have crawled in the liquor. And then they drank themselves to death. I got mice turds on the cloth there. I'm sure mice have been crawling all up through here. Is that some hypnotic? Remember when people thought hypnotic was the shit. You got some vending machine action going on here. You can see the rats and mice have chewed through the bags and gotten into them. Nearly every one of them. Famous Amos, the Cheez-Its, and even the Oreos. They're all ratted up. Look at the candy bars, they're all ratted up too. Have they gotten, oh yeah, they got up into the chips. And the Cheetos. Wild, huh? The vending machine is still in here. It still had stuff in it. I mean, look at all the beer bottles. Somebody could make a fortune by taking these back. They're everywhere. All back in here. And here. Yeah, boxes of them back there. <coughs> Oh, this is the cooler. That's the cooling system. We got in right through this door here. Pretty nice and easy. Thankfully, it wasn't shut and locked at all times. We got a motion sensor, and we got cameras galore in here. There's some in here, and the outside is covered. So it's a bit sketch. You gotta love the pasties so they could cover their nippies. Look at this chick's nippies are like spotlights. I don't know if you can see that. It's so funny. All these different like colors of pasties. Yeah, there you go. Look at that chick. And the advertisement. 
There's some colorful ones, some silver, yellow, red. Pretty cool. It looks like this was like a stage of some sort. So it was like a little step up or to play the game. And you could spin this wheel. And like this wheel had all sorts of things you could do. Complimentary, complimentary drink, $2 special. I don't even wanna know what that's about. Complimentary dance, no thanks. Buy a drink for a, sh get a shot for a dollar. So all these types of things, wild. So spin again, you can just, look. So that's the wheel. If we go back over here, see this is the dancing area. They would dance along here. And then the poles were right here in the center and then they would go up to there. But they removed a couple of the poles. I mean, there's one here. This one here. Dude, it's so gross. Like, look how grimy the pole is itself. Like, what is all over it? Well, I can guess <laughs> what's all over it. I don't even want to know. Like, here's the steps up to it. So this is the entire room here. And then there's the game back again over there. The stripper pole here. And you can see some more benches all along the wall to the left there. And then we make our way back over to the bar. Cocktail shaker. It's just a kitchen. Yeah. Empty. Nothing much there. I don't have the right to refuse anyone in the establishment. Seriously? All customers must have a drink in front of them at all times. Wow. 2015. If we go this way, this is the um, locker rooms for the ladies. Cheap locker rooms. Look at it. There's nothing really in the lockers. I looked. There's like some coins in there and some more pasties, but I think one of them had some clothing left, but like nothing much. That's where they'd hang their stuff up. Posters. Attention ladies, please take care of your doorman and DJ. These people are here to make money just like you. They don't have to play your music or skip your dear dances. <laughs> take care of them. There's the bar rates. Now, any dancer working a double bar is $40. Is $40? Mm -hmm. And must work till 11 p.m., no exception. Pasty. No smoking. Yeah, look at the decay in here, though. The insulation is just coming down onto the stairs, going into the locker room. Jeez. There's the locker room. Now we're making our way back toward the stage. Same locker room. So the locker room back down through here. You can see that's why there's so much decay. It's the ceiling's like caving in. And here's the security booth and DJ booth or whatever with the notice to all dancers on there. 
soliciting for the purpose of prostitution, rubbing the genital pubic area against genital pubic area or the face of any patient. <laughs> oh, that's great. Stay a distance of at least 12 inches away. Gotta love that. Sign in sheets down there. Yeah, you can see like this was DJ equipment, microphones, and whatnot. There's a monitor, fan, and light. Look at this. All dancers must pay for their pasties. Here's the um, shift rates again. And then here's the dancers. Oh, they're barred. <laughs> Not a lo no longer allowed. So you can see that Diamond, Candy, Chanel, Mystic, Vanessa, Mia, Mia and Nia, are they twins? They have all been barred from the establishment. And then Skyler or Sky needs to sign a new contract. We no longer have one. Interesting. Contracts, barred, see, fired, dancer logs, stage names. Yeah, nothing much really. And then this goes back down to the uh, main floor there with the bar in the pole. There's a cash register. And then this area over here is the VIP private area. And what an amazing VIP area it is. Just look at how big this is. Pfft. So like six little booths, not even. This one's like the best one. Jeez, did somebody get punched a hole in the wall or what? Or they got so rough sex in here and they went through the wall. I don't even want to know what's happened in here. So gross, I'm sure. I'm sure you guys can imagine what happens in a little dive strip club like this. All sorts of things going on for money and drugs and other favors. And in fact, there's some proof right there. Look at this gross shit. Used condoms right there, right on the floor, right behind the chair. So gross. Gross. They've stuck used condoms in the wall there. You can see them through the wall. Well, you gotta love that. And through the patchwork, because people are putting their fists through the wall, and their feet through the wall, and their heads through the wall, and their dick. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So as we come out of the VIP area, I mean, they tried to make it private with curtains, but as you can see, there's really not much. And we go back down the stairs. Oh, yuck. Look at, move this back out. I see a condom there too. Gross. So they were happening everywhere. They was getting down all over the place, even on the booth in the main area. These mirrors. These mirrors all along here. Yeah, see? Everywhere you look. I'm gonna come over here. Got a bathroom with a bunch of drink mixes. Interesting. Look at that spider up there. Monster spider up there. Gross. And then in here, and more pasties. Little office here. Stage name, real name, <laughs> contract number. Look at this. Calculator. Look, it was a good run. Thanks for everything, Jay. That's pretty cool.
Wow, that's really cool. She left a message on the board for everyone. And that just looks like some St. Paddy's Day stuff. Everyone is Irish on St. Paddy's Day. Nothing much down there. Are people sleeping on this thing? What the hell? All right, so that takes us pretty much to the... What the hell is that creepy thing doing in here? Takes us to the end of the strip club. Definitely a cool place to see and explore. Definitely a unique one. You don't get to see abandoned strip clubs with so much stuff left behind, especially. And the power's still on, it's crazy. Let's get one more look at a homegirl. <laughs> you changed the page on it, you <laughs> hugger. <laughs> oh, that's great, bro. You had me fooled for a second. I was like, what the hell? I'll do big old titties on here. And my man confessing his sins of the lust of voluptuous women with C-section scars. And that will take us to the end of today's video on the abandoned strip club that was closed down for illegal activity. Although it was certainly a nasty location to explore and document, we hope that you all still enjoy the video. And for more photos from the strip club and our other abandoned locations, check out the website at AbandonedCentral.com. And please subscribe to Abandoned Central on YouTube so that you get all of our latest videos. As always, your support is truly appreciated. Thank you so much.